everyone. Hi. Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Ellie, and I'm here today with Andrew Hawkrattle. Hello, it's me. I'm Andrew Hawkrattle. The uh, infamous Andrew. The infamous. Oh, look, our names match up. I like that. <laughs> look at that. It's cute. Um, welcome. If you are here, say hi in chat. Let us know where you're watching from. And I know a lot of people are from Discord. So if you're coming in from yes. Discord, leave us a purple heart emoji in the chat. Where is it? Yes. <laughs> there it is. There we go. I got, the, I got the angle. It took me a second. Yes, please say hello in the chat. Let us know where you guys are watching from. And please feel free to ask questions as we go along. Today is going to be so fun because Photoshop Beta just launched a brand new feature today. So we're going to be showing that off. And that new feature is Generative Expand. Yes. Do you want to expand? I, let, me ex on <laughs> let me expand. Also, that's like one of 90 jokes that are coming. <laughs> um, so Generative Expand is a new workflow functionality for you that is going to speed up your process a lot. If you have ever wanted to uh, crop something into a different uh, aspect ratio, if you ever needed to see more of a photo, if you had a photo that was tilted a little bit and you needed to fix it, Generative Expand is the easy way to do that. It takes like 10 seconds. And so we're going to play around with that a bunch today. And yes. chat, we need your suggestions right now. So do you want to talk a little bit about what we're doing? And then I'll maybe like set some more scene. Yeah. What's the like, what's the thing we're creating today? Okay, so a few things. One, we are going to fix a tilted photo and expand it and show how you can fix that and then add to it. And um, also, well, do you want to explain what we may be doing? Yes. That we're going to test. Yes, we're going to try to make a seamless looping GIF yeah. of a perpetual panorama. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a lot. And if we want to come back to my screen, we could totally show this right now. So um, I had my auto updates on. And so as <laughs> we were getting ready to get ready for the show, uh, Photoshop updated. So guess what? Your Photoshop is probably updating as well if you have auto updates on. But what you want to do if you want to get the Photoshop beta, you want to go over here and you can look at all apps. This is everything that's available to you in your Creative Cloud membership. And you can scroll down right here and go to beta apps. And in beta apps, you'll see everything that is available to you. If you don't have the Photoshop beta, this is the place to get it. If you need to update the Photoshop beta, this is the place to <laughs> update it, um, which is fun. So go download, uh, create with us. And here's what we need from you, chat. We are going to be creating the world's longest panorama. I think we can just say Let's it. Let's do it. Let's Guinness World Record, longest they're panorama. They're actually listening right now while they're watching. Yes, thank you, Guinness. And we will be in the next book. Do they still make books? Sure. Do you remember those yeah. books? Do books still exist? <laughs> um, so what we need from you, chat, is we need suggestions. We need suggestions of where we're going to be going in this panorama, what yeah. we're going to see in this panorama. And we're going to be using combinations of generative expand with generative fill, and then maybe a little bit of Adobe Firefly as well. So put your suggestions in right now. We're going on a journey, and we want to know where are we going, what are we seeing, what animals, any prompts that you want to see into the scene. We're going to create a super long panorama, and then hopefully, be able to loop that yeah. using generative fill. Cross your let's, fingers. <laughs> let's do it. It's going to be great. All we right. have so many people joining us. Christopher uh, and another Christopher in Tallahassee, Florida. Michelle, Jacob, Sam, thank you so much for being here. Please Hello. feel free to ask questions as we go along about this update or Photoshop. Um, Firefly, all the things. Yes, and I like that you're getting the full workflow, um, <laughs> that we're getting like the actual update all the way into the opening. All right. It's brand new. It, brand new. Uh, so this is the new thing, Generative Fill plus Generative Expand. It is a way to recrop your photos to give you a little bit more space to work with if you need it. So I'm going to show you the my favorite workflow of this, and that is if you have a photo like this that is tilted. And this is going to be the base of our panorama. So chat. As you're making your suggestions, we are going to go infinitely to the left and infinitely to the right. So start to think about what is outside of this photo. Um, have you ever taken a photo that is just a little bit off kilter and you need it to be straightened? Every day. Okay. So the worst part of when that happens, right, is you try to do this and then you're like cropping and then you have to like lose a lot of your photo, right? You're like scaling it to try to yep. fill the space that you need. Uh, no longer, no more. With Generative Expand, we can actually do this super quickly in just a few seconds. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the Crop tool, which is C. The hotkey uh, is C, or it's right over here. And then we want to change this Fill. So this is really important. From Fill, we want to click and do Generative Expand. So Generative Expand is the new tool, and we are going to just, I'm just going to, first of all, expand this a little bit just so we can see. And when I hit enter, watch what it's going to do. 
dun, 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 dun. It is going to give us a little bit more of the scene. So if you want to kind of pull out, change your focus, change the composition of your photo, you can do so using Generative Expand. It's right there in the crop tool, and there we go. And it's beautiful. Yes. Look at that. And the coolest thing is, yes, behind us, it does give us three different options to cycle through to see uh, what works. All right, I'm going to undo that. And here is the professional photographer workflow. Um, I don't know. It's it's definitely more of like a professional workflow. Is we can grab the crop tool, and we are going to use the straighten tool. So right up here, the straighten tool. This is a really great tool if you just want to straighten a photo. But then it also um, actually let's do this. So if I have default on, we're going to do the straighten the photo, and I'm just going to straighten on the horizon line by clicking and dragging. And it's going to straighten that photo. That's awesome. And what happened there, Ellie? It cropped it. We cropped it. We lost mm -hmm. so much of the photo, which mm -hmm. is not what we want. So what we want is we want to be able to straighten the photo and have all of it. So we're going to go to that crop tool. We're going to change the fill to generative expand, grab our straighten tool, and watch this. I'm going to grab that horizon line. And then to enter, dun, 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 dun. It is going to fill in all that extra space there. Um, and so I think we'll have road, we'll have some sky, yeah. we'll have sunset. Let's see what happens. The suspense yes. while it's loading. I love it. Uh, Christopher says we should put a tornado to the left with a cow. Love it. In okay. the tornado. Perfect. So you can see there that it yeah. has expanded this photo for us. It has straightened it and filled in that extra area that was cropped. Uh, I like that there's like a car flying in here. You know, there could be. All right. I like this one because it does have a little bit of that mark. Yeah. Uh, so. This is where we're going to keep going, is we are going to keep moving to the left. Uh, and this is going to get really interesting, really crazy, and <laughs> hopefully we make a long panorama. So what was the prompt that we had come um, in? A tornado to the left of the lake, but it could go either way. And there's a cow in the tornado. OK. It got picked up. So I'm going to crop to the left, and then I can actually type in a prompt. So I didn't type in a prompt last time, but I can type in a prompt this time. And I'm going to say. <laughs> Tornado on uh, a lake with a cow. And let's see what happens. OK. Uh, so it is going to expand, generative expand, based on that prompt. So you can use generative expand with no prompt, and it will kind of just expand your photo. Or you can put a prompt in there, and it yeah. will generate something in there. I mean, yeah. I'm not mad it about it. It got the tornado and the cow. OK. I think that that's probably the best. The cow watching the tornado. Yes. It's I so think, ominous. It is. It's very ominous. And I actually am going to use an adjustment layer here because I don't like how bright this yeah. light is. Um, and so we are going to use an adjustment layer. Mm, how do I want to do this? I think that I'd want to do brightness and contrast. I maybe want to pull down. Actually, let's do this. This is not the right work, but we're going to try it. I'm going <laughs> to select a color range and see if I can just select that white. Yeah. And then I'm going to add in a little brightness contrast and bring it down. Ooh, that's giving yeah. us a lot more. All right, cool. That looks good to me. And there's also some like weirdness happening over here with that mask. So I'm just going to, oh, we're going to leave that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mess with it. Um, all right, another suggestion coming in. Jim says, Oregon Trail Pano, including wading the river, broken down wagon, and being robbed. Oh, that's a lot. OK, we'll do that. We'll do that one in steps. Yeah. And just like keep going to the right. The um, lake needs a crack The lake in. needs a crack in. OK, keep a mental note because I actually have a good, uh, there's a good workflow to like make it look like it's underwater. Okay. So we're going to go to the right here because we need some more space. <laughs> we're like eight minutes in and this is going to get so unhinged. <laughs> I can already feel it. OK, so I'm going to do um, covered wagons. Uh, where are we Broken going? Down. On the trail. Yes, uh, with a broken, oops, wooden wheel. Um, and I think let's stay there. And then yeah, I'll do the yeah. river after that. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a super long panorama. And then I think what I'm going to try to do is generative fill the edges and then stitch them together so that they match up and hopefully can like loop around. I like that it's on That's the road. pretty awesome. <laughs> OK, so there's two and there's three. I, I actually like, like one. this one, yeah. I like this one, too. And I'm going to see if I can it's just generate favorite. fill in, uh, gen sorry, generate expand in just the rest of it yeah. and see what happens there um, so that it's not cropped off. That cow peering on the water is fire, though. Yes, I agree. I love the cow. Yes. 
Okay, cool. I got the edge. That is going to allow us to keep expanding there. I feel like the cow escaped from this wagon train, and yes. he's like trying to figure out where to go. <gasps> Chat, sorry. I just so my mouse has a you can't see it, but there's a scroll wheel on the side that goes uh, horizontal, and I just realized oh, for the awesome. first time that it actually scrolls. And that's so if we really want cool. to, once this goes, we can zoom in and then uh, use that. Okay. Where do we want to go? We're going into the Kraken. Yes. All right. Yes. So I'm going to zoom in on this lake here, and we probably want it to be pretty big. And so I'm going to use um, I'm going to use just the lasso tool, and I'm going to make it pretty feathered. So we're going to do like 30. And then what I'm going to do is oh, uh, so Jesus Ramirez taught me how to do this, and now I don't remember the entire workflow. <laughs> But I think we'll what out. we're going to do is we're going to drag it in here, and then we are going to generative fill, and let's do sea monster. I did see him do a video of this. Yes. I don't remember either, the whole thing. But. And the water. So we're going to generate that. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to change the fill of the generative layer, yeah. um, which I think I've already missed my opportunity of when I was supposed to do that, so I might go back and try it. But changing the fill will make it look more opaque. Uh, and if you want to learn more about that, Jesus Ramirez, I believe, is coming on Adobe Live next week uh, to show you how to do that workflow. Okay, not exactly what I wanted. That's fine. And it's also way too big. So we're just going to leave that. I'm going to do it a little bit more here. And then we are going to change. Mm. Oh, man. It's going to bug me that I don't remember how to do this. Turn to fill. Ah. Uh, let's do Sea Monster. And someone's saying, needs, it a, needs UFO. a UFO. Looking for the cow. Yes. That's a, gr <laughs> that's a great idea. OK, I'm not oh, mad about like that sea this. monster. This is better. So the reason this is better is because uh, generative fill only works for the area that you select. So if yeah. I selected a big area, it's going to make a big monster. And I want yeah. it to look like this. Um, also, the fact that this light is hitting. Yeah, is it really so took good. that into account, which yes. is awesome. OK. So we've got our perpetual panorama <laughs> happening. Uh, and somebody said that we want a UFO. Yes. OK, I think a UFO would look good up here. Yeah, yeah. It feels really relevant right now. It, it honestly does. OK, so let's do Journey Phil, and let's do a flying alien saucer and put that in there. Uh, and I think that when we keep going to the right, we're going to do the river of the Oregon mm -hmm. Trail um, fording the river, where else do we want to go? We can go either to the left or the right of this and just keep it going uh, perpetually. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I like that good. one. That's cool. Uh, and Ellie, here's a yes. question for you. Yes. When when you like have a photo like this that has a bunch of different things in it, is there anything that you do at the end of it to like try to bring it together? So that like if you're compositing things mm. or whatever, like how do you go about or think about like bringing it all together? I mean, it is nice that it takes all the lighting and everything into account. Because if you were just dropping things in there, you would have to add the like highlights or adjust the the whatever you're dropping in so that the lighting all matches. I think that's like one of the biggest ways to make something look cohesive. Yes. Um, um, and this big of an image, you probably want to decide: Do you have a focal point? Like, what's the main point? Or oh, is yeah. it, Or is it just the entire image is like there is no like main? focal point, you I know? Think, yeah, I think that we want to just keep going. And so, chat, I'm going to do the, I'm going to try to get the river. So I did river flowing through, um, I think, wilderness is what I put. And so I'm going to try to put that in here and see if we can keep this going. Awesome. Oh, I thought we were going to get stuck. So every time that we wow. do generative expand right now, in my brain, we're going to get stuck and yeah. be like, we can't go anymore. And it seems like it's just going to I think we should push stuck. the limits and see how far it can go. Yes, currently this file is not that big. It, this is going to be a massive file by the end of the stream. <laughs> so still have like 45 minutes. Um, but I think that I this love is this river. pretty good. Yeah. I feel like it, like there's the sunset or sun rise, whatever it is, but it kind of almost feels because of the trees like there's a fire happening. Yes. And chat, we are going to just all agree right now to ignore the fact that there will probably be five suns in this photo. Yeah. Uh, generative <laughs> fill, I, or generative expand, as we keep doing this, especially with landscapes, it's going to try to match the lighting. Yeah. And so it's going to have to put a light source. So we're going to get a lot of suns and happening okay. here. Uh, and that's OK. Um, OK. Uh, so it's like how it's keeping off the grid view. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. The A mosaic. I love that. Of 2137. Yes. Okay. Um, let's keep going to the right here. I want to like move into a winter zone. Okay. I think that like we can get Some into mountains. a freezing. Yeah, and so I'm gonna move to the right here. I'm actually gonna do a lot. Let's see. And I'm going to do mountain forest covered in snow, winter, and then maybe do blue and white just to see if we can get okay. some stuff in there. So chat, let us know what else you wanna see in here. You can either do something to generative expand uh, to the side to add something to our panorama, or you can do generative fill for us to put something in. Ooh, okay. Ooh, maybe we like, the camera like is it's like tilting, you know, taking off. Going up. Yeah. Okay, let's do this real quick just to see where we are. I am going to let's see if we can wow. position this. Yes. All right, chat. We're gonna go all the way to the beginning and we are going to give you an idea of maybe where we could go on the left or the right. All right, so. All right, I'm gonna like reposition this so I can scroll a little easier. <laughs> so we have our cow with a tornado. And then the UFO is right over our sea monster. All right, now we've got our original photo that keeps expanding, and then we have the wagon. <laughs> okay, this is gonna That's be really, really fun cool. by the end. There's some like edges that we can clean up. could be something like hidden behind the wagon almost, or like right Ooh. in those rocks right there. Yes, I agree. And so then we keep going, and now that it drops off, and now we're in the sky. <laughs> I actually like that we've gotten to this guy because it. then we can like add stuff to keep going. Yes. There. Um, okay. Someone is saying uh, row housing with delivery bones on stoops. Row, what is it? row housing. Delivery, with delivery boxes. boxes. Oh, so we want like um, like the oh, San Francisco like an houses. Apartment, yes. Apartment buildings or something. Okay. Jim says the land of a million suns. Ooh, let's just add more suns. That's yeah. <laughs> I like that we gave a warning. That was like, There's going to be so many suns. We're like, you know what? Like, actually, let's just add as many as possible. And Howard says, push the limits, break the computers. Yes. Um, Neato burritos. What do we put perfect. here? Just sun? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Sunshine. And hey, Howard. Uh, so if you want to, Howard has some great TikToks, uh, Twitter posts, X posts. I don't know what they're calling them. Uh, Twitter. Uh, Whatever. Yes. Howard has some great content out there for you to uh, check out on Generative Expand. Oh. Uh, ooh. Okay, I'm not mad about that this. That one's cool. And I'm gonna take the fill down to like 30%. Yeah. And that will give us just a little bit of a, a glow there. A hint. A hint of sunshine. Sun kissed. <laughs> okay. Um, Carol asked, which we didn't see before, um, when you were doing the lowered opacity, if, it, if there was a quick mask. Oh yes, that is the workflow. Is it? Yeah. I know that it involves a quick mask. I don't remember how. Is the answer. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Jesus has a video on TikTok yes, about it. Yes. Yes. So go check that out for sure. Okay, so let's keep going to the right here because I think we need more space. And what I'm going to do is a great suggestion. Where was it? From Clever. Row housing with delivery boxes on the stoops. Yeah. Let's do. Um, we have to finish the lake, right? And then... Yes. Let's see what happens if I just put in, like, um, neighborhood of houses and see what's going to happen and how it's going to transition between those different scenes. I'm yeah. very interested. Um, what else do we have there? The wagon's being driven by tumbleweeds. Andrew and Ellie, what do you recommend for the right blue sky space? That's up to you. Chat, that's what up to do you. you. Recommend? What do you recommend to put in that right space? Okay. One house, that's fine. A house, this lighting's a house. not quite right, and also it's getting demolished. <laughs> okay, this is, I'm not like mad about shadow. this. Yeah, I'm not mad about the shadow. We're eventually going to, maybe this, okay, I'm gonna help us here, chat. I'm gonna use generative expand one more time, and I'm just going to do um, like uh, open planes, in, uh, at nighttime with stars. And that way, our panorama is gonna track through yeah. like a night star scene <gasps> and then morning. all the way to the to nine suns. The to nine, nine. <laughs> the nine sunrise. Maybe in the future there's more suns. <laughs> Who knows? We don't know. I like that we're in the future now. <laughs> well, I mean. Okay. Have to. I want stars. Okay. I like that one star. Okay. Oh, I like I, that. I like this, yeah. This feels very natural. You could add some stars in. 
I could add some stars in. Uh, let's do... Startled Wildlife Trash Panda. Yeah, okay, love yes. that. Let's definitely put him over here. I think that that was a good idea is to hide something in here. Um, and I'm gonna go back and clean up some of these edges uh, using generative fill once we get to that point. Also, something interesting is happening here. Uh, Ellie, have you ever run into yes. this? Of One side is a little blurry and then yeah. one side's a little yeah. cleaner. Yeah. So here's what's happening, chat. Can we cut to camera one so I can talk directly to chat? Chat, here you go. Here's some knowledge for you. There we go. Close up. Uh, when that happens, when you have one side that's blurry and one side that's clean, it's because your, ex your selection is too big. So the maximum that generative expand and generative fill is, is 1080 by 1080. So 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. Past that, it is going to make it a little bit blurry because it's trying to render too big for what it can handle. So uh, if we cut back to my screen, you can see on the left, this was more than 1080 pixels. Mm -hmm. uh, we did like a long expansion. On the right, it was a small expansion, which was probably less than 1080. Yeah. All right. So doing power. smaller uh, selections will help with that if yes. you're having that issue. Yes, always smaller chunks. Uh, all right, so I'm going to put in, somebody said a little trash panda. I love that. Howard says, I'm going to use it one more time. It's never just one more time. Never. Never, never, uh, ever. What is the little, what's the cute one? The, the like little panda the little red that goes like, ah, yes, oh. okay. Oh, 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 I'm just cycling through hotkeys, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I start typing and then I just see the You're tools like, lighting oh. up. Uh, okay, red panda uh, hiding in rocks. Yes. Let's see if we can get this. I'm interested to see how it's going to interpret hiding because that is a bit of a- Wait, is trash panda, does that mean raccoons? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. but uh, like you said, I just- But I, I like a real, like, <gasps> oh, I like oh, raccoons boy. too. Look at our little man. I made him too big. Oh. I made the selection way too oh. big. Oh. Hello. <laughs> All right, I'm going to delete that because I made the selection way too big. Uh, and I'm going to put him on this rock, yes, maybe right perch. here. All right, let's see. That's probably good. Also, I have it on a feather, which I don't know if is uh, changing it. Howard. That could be. That's a question for Howard. Howard. Howard, do you know if feathering your selection changes the generative fill? Also, no one has given us suggestions for the blue sky space. Oh, that's so right. So please, please send those in. Yes. So chat. I'll. Oh, it's rendering. Uh, I'll. I'll zoom out and see where we are. We do yeah. need more suggestions for that right space to continue it going. And let's go ahead and make sure at twelve forty. Okay. I want to try to do the animation because right. I just want to make sure we have enough time. All right. That looks good. A little blobby boy. A little chunky. His uh, color is a little off, but I can use select. Actually, I'm going to use the object selection mm. tool. So over here next to the uh, magic wand tool is the object selection tool. And I can simply hover over. Oh, does object selection not work on generative layers? It's selecting the whole. Interesting. It's selecting the whole layer. Mm. Huh. But what I can do is I think I can click around and it will grab him. Let's see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you can select your subject by just clicking around. He's a little too saturated for me, so I am going to take down that saturation. Um, Howard says, I don't believe so, but let me experiment with the feathering. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's see if we can... S that looks a little... I'm trying to match the saturation That looks of this. more blended. Yeah. Yeah, or more like it belongs. Make sure we're blending. Lynn, welcome in. If you guys are just joining us, Andrew is working on creating the world's largest panorama. And so we want your suggestions on what we should add, what we should expand, what we should fill, what we should create. So feel free to drop yes. those in. And then in a little bit, he's going to try to animate it. Yes. So. And someone just had a great suggestion over there. Um, with all the suns, there should be sunbeams. Could we have a moon a and moon a moonbeam? I love. That's amazing. What's the song with moonbeams in it? Chat, there's like an American standard, like from American Songbook mm. that has moonbeams in it. That's like a, it's like a Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. All I can think of is Moon River from Breakfast at Tiffany's, but yes. that's, not the, that's not what it is. Chat, if you can think of what that is, I'll give you all a bonus point. Um, all right, so we're gonna use Generative Expand here and we are going to do um, a full moon uh, at night with, uh, galaxies. Galaxies. All right, let's see how we generate this. And chat, I just made a mistake. 
Ellie, let's see, do a little pop quiz. What is going to happen with this image? Did you make too big of a selection? I made too big of a selection and it is going to be blurry. So I'll actually be able to see in action what I just talked about, yeah. um, the kind of difference between these two. What happened? Oh, give the cottage a window and then we could add something in the window. Ooh, I like that. That would be fun. Did we lose, did I, did I like max it out? <sighs> let's see. Okay. Uh, Full moon at night. Yes, the hut in the far left would look awesome with some light coming through the windows and smoke from the chimney. What happened? Maybe it's that's all it can do. Do I have the maximum? Do I have the maximum amount of generative layers? Maybe. All right. We all. This might be another question for Howard. Howard, how many generative layers can I have on a document? <laughs> Uh, Howard says it seems that aside from rounding out the edges, if using a rectangle, uh, it doesn't uh, affect the generations if you have feathering okay. on. All right, let's see how full moon in the night stay with stars. Okay, we're actually generating now. Okay, let's, let's see. if it goes through. I actually think that it wasn't working because I was generating on an adjustment layer because I was on the saturation oh, oh, layer. Oh, you were on the original yes. layer. <laughs> Carol, I can't do that, Dave. <laughs> hey, guys. There we go. We got a moon. Uh, and I'm gonna do a little trick that I like to, do. actually, let's do color toning, burning and dodging after we've set the whole scene. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're getting some uh, moon song suggestions. Kanye West, Ultra Light Beam, Bruno Mars, Talking to the Moon, Moon oh. Dance, Van Morrison. Moon Dance, that's Polka the one I'm thinking of. Moon Beams by Frank Sinatra. Uh, it's, it's, oh, Is that's that probably it. Polka dots and moonbeams. We'll listen to I it off know. stream. Uh, I think that it's probably the Frank Sinatra, but also Moondance is a great one and Ultralight Beam is awesome. I actually saw Kanye the concert before he canceled his tour. Oh, wow. And it was the coolest concert I've ever That's had. That's pretty we, awesome. Like, we, I don't support Kanye in any way. It was an amazing concert. But still like a classic yes. to see. Okay, yeah. we're on the moon and someone said something in the window. Yeah, someone said um, lights maybe coming through and smoke in the chimney, but I feel like it'd be cool if there's like something mysterious inside. I agree. I don't know what, but something. And the a cool face, thing is, I don't know. Here, we can actually generate something in multiple places. So you can make a selection by just holding shift and make a triple selection here. And then let's generate a fill and let's do um, glowing windows. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make them stained glass. Oh, yes. Is it stained, like S-T-A-I-N-E-D? I think so, okay. just like it's, yeah, it's stained, I uh, think. With a shadow. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh, Gus says, Andrew, give us your best wolf howl. My best wolf howl? Hold on, <laughs> uh, I need to scroll back over to the moon. Uh, that's We need to scroll back over to the moon. Okay. Oh, now I feel like this is a church. Oh, those are Ooh, this, these that are cottage windows. That is creepy. These are creepy cottage windows. I love the little broken one on the one, yes. or like, you know, that little one spot there. Yes. That's cool. Okay, that's a win. I like those a lot. Uh, let's definitely put some smoke in the chimney. So let's, can I just type in smoke? Maybe like uh, rising smoke from a fire? Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Smokestack, is that what it, like, is that what it's called? Oh, yes. I don't know. I like that there's a tornado and smoke. Oh, wow. That's cool. It did a really, really good job. Oh, the house is on fire. <laughs> the house is on fire. Okay, so let's do a smoke here. I like that one. Uh, and I'm gonna do it's the same thing. It's just a little thing. intense. Yeah, it's a yeah. little intense. So I'm gonna grab the object selection tool and just grab this smoke here, and it will... Maybe. It should select this smoke. Um, let's do be the easiest way to do this. I think it's gonna be, uh, let's try it one more time. There we go. There we go. All right, another adjustment layer. And this one, I think I'm just gonna take the saturation all the way down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think that that's, that's really cool. Good. It yep. looks pretty real. And then you can see there that there is a little bit, there was like a weird line happening here. And what I can do is because this is a adjustment layer, you can see that there's this little black and white. That is our mask. So I'm just going to right click and then get a super soft brush here. And I'm going to make it smaller. I'm doing this all manually just for you. And then I can brush out these edges so that you can see a little bit 
that there is like a little line because of that adjustment layer. So I can kind of just brush out those edges and you can yeah. see that line is slowly going away. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that's good. Oh, also, Gus, this is for you. We get a little, ow! There we go. That was good. Ooh, th I, this is what I want us to be here and then do the slow yes. once and then upon a time pan. in the forbidden land. And, and then it just starts doing the pan. Yes. <laughs> this mouse is doing so much hard work for us right now. Um, okay, chat. Let's zoom and give us the whole look. Also, if you want to zoom ever to like the whole uh, artboard, you can actually just double click on the hand tool. Oh, that's cool. Boop, boop. And wow. it will size uh, your artboard right there that. for you. All right, we're going to collapse this. And here is our overall. <laughs> Which way do you think we need to go, Ellie? I think starting at the nighttime. Yep. Or does it become day to night? I think we go night, night to, day. to day. This is going to be a, why do we do this? Because we need a nightmare to animate. Because uh, we're going to have to patch like the, the dawn. You're going to have to go from day to night on the other side. Yes, which, yeah. is, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, OK, so chat. Where do we want to go next on this? We've got probably like 10 more minutes before I want to mm -hmm. animate. It's 12.30. What do we want to add? So we've got uh, little details. We could go in here, and I'll give you a zoom. Oh, someone did say something about what to put in the sky. A massive Ingrid or Albatross in the sky sending it towards the UFO. Ooh, okay. Or maybe extra birds. Yes. Let's do a couple birds. We'll do some by the UFO. So this is where we're going. I'm just scrolling through. I love the little sea monster I there. I love the monster and I love the UFO. Yes. Oh, Christopher castle says the hill. night side should have a castle on the hill. Yes. Okay, continuing to go, you're a little man. A little panda. Chat, you need to name the red panda. It is absolutely required. Oh, Sam says you could use a twilight slash northern lights scene connected to the night part to bring it closer today. Oh, thank you, Sam. That's That'll be cool. very helpful. Yeah. All right, so that is our whole scene. Someone said to add, uh, somebody wanted like a bird? Like a big albatross or something. Okay. We're. You said big. <laughs> this is going to be such a mistake. Albatross. Never. Bird, um, maybe uh, let's have it be like magical. Uh, yes. With sparkles. Yes, a glittery, glittery albatross. Limpy says, "What I've learned from the beta is that the rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper the more details you keep adding." Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You could go forever. Yes. My forever favorite. And ever. My favorite new emoji combination that somebody has been sending me. <laughs> Uh, every time I'm like, I did the. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not mad about I this guy. I kind of like him. This guy's kind of goofy. I like him. Yeah. I think he's too big, but we're going to leave it. Uh, <laughs> especially when it animates, he's just going to be like, hello. <laughs> like, okay. Um, uh, one of my favorite emoji combinations is going down the rabbit hole is someone yeah. will send me the gymnast who's doing a cartwheel yes. and then the whole emoji and he's like just, <laughs> just straight going. down. Okay, that looks fine for me. And then somebody wanted some. Uh, I love that he is the size here. of the covered wagon. Oh, uh, he is a massive. It's awesome. Yes. So we're gonna do. Uh, it looks like a float, <laughs> kind of sick. Yeah. It does. It does. It looks like a float. I'm actually gonna go back and add little string Strings. lines. Yep. And that people are like, this render doesn't look realistic at all. And we're like, oh no, it's not a bird. It's, it's a, a float. float. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like those. Oh, Ooh, that's like nice. Yep, they're about to get zapped by that UFO. Oh, yeah. OK, so this guy, <laughs> let's get this layer. So I usually have my auto select layer on right here. Uh, and so I'm going to click there to auto select his layer. And then I'm going to make one that is just below him. And that way, um, Control Shift N to make a new layer. And then I'm just going to draw these in, I think. I'm just going to do little lines. And the easiest way to do this is to hold Shift. And if you hold Shift, it is actually, oh, I need to do these on top, actually. If you hold shift, it is going to make straight lines for you. And so I can make these as if Beautiful. they were connected. Ooh, either either it's a float or he is it's like It's kind of like somebody's controlling him like I don't know. Okay, that feels like a float, right? Yeah. Yep, and I think maybe this is maybe not the right answer, but I think I want one that goes under here. Oh, yeah. Right? That looks like it kind of like wraps. Yeah. And then we'll just do a little connection here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 100% it looks like he's been captured. That looks That's, so <laughs> terrifying. I'm so. There's a small <laughs> village under this that is like <laughs> completely okay. 
I love it though. It looks great. Give it, give panda a banana bandana and name the panda, but bandana banana rama. I the okay. third. Yeah, let's definitely put a banana here. Chat, what it? Y'all are unhinged. Okay. Oh, uh, too much feather. All right. Uh, where do we want a banana? We're gonna have him like going after a banana. Yeah. Banana. Because a banana would be growing yes. right here, of course. There was another suggestion for something somewhere that I didn't pay attention to. Um. Oh, Castle on a Hill. Yes, yes, yes. And the Northern Lights. Okay. All right. There's the banana. There's the banana. Perfect. And then we want to do, gosh, oh my gosh, it just keeps going. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to use generative expand again, which is a thing that we're talking about here on this stream and the next one as well. Um, also, stick around for the next stream. What are we doing on the next stream? So Arabella will be on with Andrew and showing how you can use this in your product photography workflows, um, but really could work with any photography workflow to expand. Say you have an image that maybe you shot it horizontally, you need to turn it vertical along those lines. Yep. So. so it's really great for like emails and stuff. So this yes. is a fun application. Web banners. Yes. Yeah. This is a really fun application, but we're going to show you how to use it in a real workflow. Oh, I um, love that. Task. Ooh, I do too. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's it. That's cool. Right there. So I hate that this is yellow. So again, I'm just going to use that selection. And I'm going to actually, I'm not going to use a selection. I'm going to use um, an adjustment layer here. And we are going to go to hue and saturation. And then I'm going to grab just the yellows. And I'm going to shift those to blues. Let's do like a, ooh. I kind of like that like crazy color. Yeah, that's fun. Take this down. There we go. Yeah, cool. All right, uh, so we're looking good there. We got like a few minutes left. I think we could do something in here. Yeah. Chat, what do we want to say lurking? What do we want to see lurking in the nighttime? <laughs> um. All right, this is this is the last time I'm using generative expand. Andrew earlier, yeah, I know, right? Okay, with the castle, would it? Do you think it will add a werewolf or a vampire or something like that, like some kind oh. of like monster? Yes, and Chris has got to go. Thanks for joining us, Chris. We're live here Thank on Adobe you, Live every single day, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us uh, whenever you want. Come back. Yes. It's a great time, and you can watch the replay of what you missed after. Yes, so feel free to catch up. Okay, I am going to, this is going to be Andrew's choice. Oh, this is going to be such a bad idea, but I think it, okay. Chat, I'm going to draw the shape, and I need you to try to guess what's happening. What, that's not the, hold on, that's not the right shape. <laughs> okay, try to guess what's happening in my brain. Oh, Justin says bats. Oh, okay. That would be cool, too. That, too. Um, how do you spell werewolf? I think it's W-E-R-E. It's not like where like W H. -E -R. There it is. It's yep. W E R E, right? Yeah. Werewolf with a parachute. Yes. Skydiving. I love this. All right, and what's cool is um, also in skydiving, in uh, uh, conjunction with generative expand in the beta, languages are now supported. So if you yes. speak uh, any uh, any language that reads left to right and not right to left. So right okay. to left languages, not quite yet. Left to right languages, you're good to go. Arabella was talking about testing in Spanish. <gasps> Let's test Spanish. On the next stream. So stick around if you want to see that. All right, we're leaving this in here. That's awesome. Um, Len was asking, how is Expand different from Generative Fill? Yeah, so Generative Expand will uh, give you more on your image, whereas Generative Fill is going to generate it, something inside your image. So, uh, so like this little werewolf. Exactly. So I'm going to save this real quick, uh, and then we're going to open up. Uh, sure. This is a screenshot of an event. So let's say that we wanted more on this photo, right? We needed it to be for uh, social media, Instagram. I'm going to hit C for crop, and then I'm going to drag it up. And you can see here I have generative expand set as the fill mode. And when I hit enter, it is going to give me more to this photo. So it'll give me the top part of the photo and the bottom part of the photo. Expand it out and generate it so we can use it in different ways. There we go. Nice. Yeah. That's great. That did pretty good. Yeah. And then you also still have the options for you to look through. Yeah. That was good to me. Yeah, really good. Dang, that did such a good. Where's the original? Uh, so what's cool is, uh, also with this, is you can turn on and off the layers 
to see uh, what it looks like. And if you want to see some really, really cool workflows, here's what people are doing, is they're taking old animated movies Yes. That have yes. like the flat backgrounds and then expanding them vertically so that the movie plays in the middle and then the expansion is uh, on the top of the I bottom. saw one with Finding Nemo yesterday and it's it was such a cool It was flow. really good, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it is 1239, which means it is time to animate. Someone said bats. Hold on, let me put some bats yes. in here. What is What are bats called? Uh... A flock of bats? They can't no, be called. No, it, it has a weird name. I forget what it is. I do know a few. So, uh, crows is a murder, a murder of crows. Um, a flamingo, a group oh, of flamingos yeah. is called a flamboyance of flamingos. Um, <laughs> it's just one giant bat. A okay. colony. Most, a colony, okay. Most sources say. Camps, clouds, and flocks also. Okay, let's see what happens. A colony of bats. <laughs> yeah, Thank a you, bat Sam colony. Peterson. That makes sense. All right, and then we're going to get to animating. I am going to have to do the northern lights oh, thing to the right. I like that bat. A cauldron of bats. So it's clever. Ooh, I like that one. That's Actually, cool. let's do this. I like this guy. Yeah. He's cute. I okay. like that he's flying right at us. So generative expand. I'm going to go ahead and control S real quick to save this file because it's insane. <laughs> we are currently at... 16,000 pixels That's wide. That's pretty crazy. We're doing good. So I'm going to expand this out here, and I'm going to do um, northern lights at dawn. Yeah. And see if it will like help us get back to the daytime that we will be on the right. And then I don't know how we're going to do this, but we are going to do it. That is my promise to you. A flamboyance of flamingos is perfect. I agree. It really is. Oh, okay. We're not very northern lights. No, it's. Okay, we're getting somewhere. It's lightning though. a little bit, and then it's darkening again. Yes. So I'm just gonna do this, and then we're going to do um, forest with sun rising. Dawn. Yeah. Whenever I add words to the end of prompts. I always think about it as like a narrator. Yes. It's like sun rising over the valley. Dawn. Dawn. And then yeah, and then like it starts. <laughs> All right. Uh I mean, no. It didn't really Okay, like we're going to ke- it's going to get too long. Okay, I'm going to And then there's a weird blank yes, space. Yes, I'm going to we're going to figure this out. I'm going to crop this over here and okay. we're going to figure out how to make that transition. So, okay. I'm going to save this. And I'm just going to save this down as a PNG so that I have a flat version of it. Because um, I think that that is going to be the best way to do this. So I'm going to do a PNG here. And we're going to save. OK. So now, what we're going to do. OK. OK. <laughs> this, is gonna, this is literally going to break my brain. Um, also, this PNG is going to be so big. Why did I save it as a PNG? OK. What we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to open up that PNG. We're going to grab one side, and we are going to flip them. And then we are going to grab the middle of that. Yeah, and blend it. And blend it. And then that should solve it, right? That should I work. I would think so. OK. Um, let's see how big this file is going to be. Uh, add a thick strike of the other and flipped right, right, left, fill between. Yeah, OK, yeah, I think that yeah. that's going to be the right workflow. Yeah. Put in a forest fire with flames to start lightening the image. <laughs> it's just, how do we get to dawn? Oh, no, just set it on fire. Um, <laughs> OK, this P, I don't know why I tried to say this is a PND. I should have just done a JPEG. Um, I'm sorry, everyone. I apologize. This is, it's, you can't see, but behind <laughs> us, it is still at 99% thinking about uh, the PNG okay. that it is making. So after you do that, when you, can you put it into the timeline and then tell yes. it to you? Yeah. Okay, that's so cool. that's what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put it in the timeline. Yeah. I'm going to crop it to a yeah. square and then and make then it so make that it, it goes. Yeah. yeah. And that way I can kind of eternally scroll uh, when I post onto social media. Um, yeah. I might cancel this and try to just do it as a JPEG. Yeah. All right. We're going to cancel there. Also, I just saved this before, so nobody nobody, be afraid. Fear not. OK, it's not going to cancel this. <laughs> it's like, I'm too committed. I'm too invested at this point. It's It's got to be such a huge not file. Complete. OK. All right, chat. YOLO. Oh, it's still being saved. All right, chat. Mega YOLO. <laughs> oh. All right, well, let's go back in. I did save it right before we went. Okay. And yes, file size went over 250 megs. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It was it was yeah. probably massive. 
Oh wait, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh my, that scared me for a second. <laughs> You're like, it's gone. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna save this as a JPEG, and I think that that will probably be much better. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Do JPEG. Let's see what the size is. Pops up. Seven megabytes. Not bad at all. So we're gonna save that. All right. Let's go ahead and open this as the JPEG. Cool. Beautiful. So, here we go. I am going to duplicate this. Then I'm going to go ahead and find the center. Actually, it doesn't matter. So what would be easiest? It'd probably be right here would be the easiest to blend. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab that, and then I'm going to <laughs> uh, duplicate this. So I'm going to layer via cut, sorry, layer via copy, and then I'm gonna make this selection. Oops, oops, oh boy. And then invert, which I can actually do right here, which is nice, invert selection. And then I'm going to go back down here, and I am going to layer via copy, turn off these layers, and then switch them. So I'm gonna align this one to the left, and then I'm going to align this one to the right, right there. Okay. okay. Oh, oh boy. This is this is <laughs> gonna be trouble. Right there. This transition is gonna be trouble, y'all. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna make a selection, and then we're going to do generative fill, and see if we can merge these together. Um, I, I, it's, it's a rough sell. We uh, might have to, we might have to kill our bird friend. No. Oh man, it's giving us hard friend. line. Wow. Um, all right, what do I need to do here? Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and overlap them. We're just trying things now, chat. I'm going to overlap them here just because I think that that's going to be the spot. And then okay. I'm actually going to do a soft erase and see if that will keep us from having a hard line if I buff that out that a little bit. That could work. Okay, and then we're gonna go here, and then we are going to generative fill these and see if that gets a little bit smoother. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, bird, I know. Our bird float. You know, he was too good for this earth. <laughs> that's, that's the greatest thing I've ever heard. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, not, not that bad. works. All right, number two. All right, number paper. three. I think number two is probably good. I like the pinks in there with the castle, and yeah. All right, we went somewhere. Oh, you know what happened with this? Um, I deleted something that broke oh. the adjustment layer. Oh. Oh, I definitely broke the adjustment layer. It's this one here. It's not that one there. Uh, is it this one here? Yes. Okay. All right, chat. Hold on. Everybody's all right. Everybody's gonna be fine. Uh, pan O2. All right. This is this is why I gave us extra time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Fear not. I believe in you. Same thing. Duplicate here. Then we are going to layer via copy. Then we are going to make a selection of this one. We are going to invert it. Then we are going to layer via copy. Then we are going to, nope. There we go, go here, layer via, oh boy. No, no, Andrew, pull it together. <laughs> okay, take those two away. This goes here, this goes there. We're back, this one's gonna move over this way. Then this is going to just extend out. Oh boy. Oh no, I don't wanna learn more. <laughs> I know what happens. I don't need any extra knowledge. Don't, don't oh, and then we did me. a little erase here. Yep. Okay, which is fine. And then I'm going to generative fill here. Seven minutes. It's like a workout for your brain. We're gonna do it. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to crop it to a square. Yeah. And then align it left and then animate it over. Okay. Okay. Sure. Actually, let's see what other generations we got here. All right, that let's one, do that one. That one's good. That's probably our best option. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to crop this in right here. Looks good. And then I'm going to save this. So we're going to save this as, sure, pan out to copy. <laughs> Why not? Copy, copy. Yes. So now I'm going to open it here and then crop to a one by one ratio. Got it. Okay. Oops. 
Let's do this. Duplicate, crop, one by one, got it. And let's see what happened here if it cropped the actual image. It did, okay, that's fine. Uh, because I am going to just put that image back on top. All right, nice. so right there. So I'm going to align this to the left right here. And then we are going to go to uh, window timeline and then do, oh, video animation. So we're going to change this to video animation. And from here, we can change the positioning of everything. So I'm just going to do awesome. real quick. I'm going to show you what we're trying to do just in case we run out of time. So we're going to do transform. And then at the end, we are going to transform again. And this transform is going to be all the way to the other side, right there. So in between those, you have a transform. That's and now I can so just cool. click play right here. And it's going to zoom us all the way across our awesome long That's panorama. That's awesome. And then you can repeat it, right? Or t tell it to you. Can you tell it to repeat? Yeah, so it will repeat. So what I'm going to oh, do is repeat. I'm going to pull this way out here. And this is going to allow us to just have more space. I'm going to open this window up a little bit. My goodness. Uh, all right. So it's going to give us a bit more time because we do want it to be a little bit uh, less hurried. And I'm going to grab this and just pull it all the way yes. to the end here. So I want to have my first one at the beginning, right there at the beginning, and then the last one right at the end. And now we're going to go to File. We are going to go to Export. And we are going to do Render Video. So it's going to render a video for us of our scene. Uh, that looks good. We'll put it in Download, sure. So it's going to render that. And video rendering in Photoshop is actually super fast. Yeah. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to go over here and go to um, Adobe Express. Oops. There we go. And on Adobe Express, there is an option to create a GIF out of a video. And that's what I'm going to do. It's way faster mm. than trying to export this size of a GIF. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be very, very easy. And it should loop forever and should be OK. And we should finish this stream with like literally a minute left. Perfect. Look at us go. Look at us go. We did Look it together. Us. All right, uh, video is done. Let's go into Downloads and Video Pano MP4. Four, drag this in. And I just clicked right there on Create GIF. So we're going to do Medium, why not? And it is going to upload that for us. It is eight seconds long. And then we're going to download. It is going to convert this into a GIF. And in theory, everyone cross your fingers. It's going to happen. It will loop and look like it is just eternally swiveling in a circle. Uh, with our panorama. That's awesome. This is going to be, it's and only And only we will know about the secret hidden bird. It's very true. So that's kind of cool. Our, our bird float. Our bird float. Uh, Clever says loopy. All right, processing video, download, download, do it, do it. All right, chat. Let's see. Thanks so much for joining us today. <laughs> okay, it, that was so anticlimactic. Hold on, <laughs> I need to open it. I need to open it in here. Uh, Did it just open as images? Yeah. Yeah. There right. we go. How's the transition? It should transition oh. back when it gets to the sun, right? There's the transition. OK, pretty we got good. pretty close. Pretty we good. We got pretty close. We got pretty close on that. I am not mad about it. So it looks like it jumped a few frames, which is fine. Yeah, um, that's OK. But we did we did pretty good that's here. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and I'm curious just now of why it's jumping those frames. Uh, there, yep. And then it goes all the way to the end which should be right there, right there, yes. And this should be all the way. Oh, that's why. It just wasn't oh, aligned. Oh, it wasn't all the way. Yep, it wasn't aligned there all the go. way. Um, so it totally worked, and it looked good. Do we have how, how we many? We have two minutes. Oh, y'all, we are gonna. We are actually going to make it work. Let's do it. Yes. OK, so the reason it didn't work is because I was off by just a few. It wasn't aligned all the way to the right. And so I think that we're going to do this. As long as this video exports quickly, come on. Uh, we can come back into Adobe Express. And I just clicked right here. So convert to GIF is uh, readily available to you if you have a video that you need to use for email marketing. Yes. Um, super, super easy to do right here. Click. OK, come on. Where's Photoshop? How are we doing here? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it with 35 seconds left, chat. I feel like Adobe Express is such an underrated tool. Yes, I agree. I've been using it so much more, and I love it. Yes. All right. Here we go. Let's yes. Go. Process. We're going low quality, y'all. We're going low quality. <laughs> we don't need it. We need it just fast. All right. Here go, we go. Processing go, video. Go, Come go. on. Go. Go. One go, minute. Go, one go, minute. Go. 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 
We have like a minute and a half. Paco's sweating over there. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's not Paco today. <laughs> oh, chat. If, if we don't get this, I am doing the next stream. Just stick around for five yes, minutes and I will yes. show you, I will Absolutely. show you the final product uh, at the beginning Absolutely. of the next stream. Uh, 40%, it jumped from five to 40, come on. 100%? Can you download, save video download, as download, a download gift download direct right, in Photoshop? We got it, we got it right here. Yes, but Hand this out. will be faster. Chat. What's the loop? Watch the loop. Here it comes with the road. And, oh. <laughs> thanks it, for joining us today, close. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure that you stick around and watch our next stream with Arabella and Andrew, and we will see you next time. Bye.